All right, here we are back with my MOSFET H-Bridge, except we got a little something different going on here. Let me hook up the power connector. This time I'm using a microchip PIC. It's programmed in an, assem an assembly language. It's a PIC 16F628A. has an internal... 4 megahertz oscillator so you if you look over here this is the pick chip let's zoom in a bit if you want to see it a little better if you can look through it, it needs no external crystals it also has its own internal pull-ups so These three switches are just connected to the pick chip and straight to ground. No external resistors to mess with. Uh, two, uh, it's just a power, ground connection, and it's off ready to go. It has 16 programmable I.O. pins. Well, make that 15 that can be programmed in and out, and number 16 is input only. But we can live with that. We can live with that. Let's move out a little bit. This is program. Okay, there's a modification on the H bridge that we will go through later in the video. It's using two inputs instead of four. One of my YouTube subscribers brought this up. Thank you very much. I went and looked into it, and yes, it works. So, let's cut on the motor. Clockwise counterclockwise master stop once again clockwise counterclockwise and of course a master stop the two LEDs over here like before are polarity indicators and this is my current limiting circuit, so I can lock it up, stop it cold, and not blow up the circuit. Okay, let's take a brief look at the coding for the uh, microchip pick. And a little more look at the hardware, and we should be through. Let's go.